Yeah, good morning. I'm a disabled veteran, and, you know, most of all, I'm an American. You know, and Representative Heather Wilson from New Mexico is a cunt. Urbana, Illinois, good morning. Hi, I'm calling for Urbana, Illinois, and uh, I just wanted to say that I actually support President Bush because uh, he's a large fan of Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Org. Up next, Jed, Seattle, Washington, Republican line. Hello. Um, my, uh, my brother, Ted, is, um, he is, uh, he has the, he goes through the VA, he's a veteran, and um, he actually has testicular cancer, and his, um, the wait for his treatment is taking far too long. I don't know how much longer he can last. His balls are huge. Uh, that's, uh, Mark is up. We're talking about two 15-year-olds at an underage drinking party, uh, in a bedroom. Now, what, I don't believe it's true, but what 15-year-old boy who's drunk isn't going to try to feel up the, uh, class slut? Let's go to Peter. This monetary value, and we don't even have the resources for it. Do okay. you think that we have that? The, the, it's paper. It is a piece of fucking paper. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Barry, or is it Ferry? What's his name? Uh, Perry. Perry, I'm sorry. I had a question about his uh, big black piece. Let's go to Long Island, New York. Good morning. I did. I read three videos. You know, you poured it out long, dog, silver. He bought that one. He, he almost wore it out. He read it so much. But You're a creep. You're a creep. Let me tell you. You're a creep. I don't want to talk to this guy. What? Let's move on to Savannah, Georgia. George, you're on the Republican line. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Well, well, well let, me, let me answer to that be before. Sure. What standard is he going by? That Republican line. Jed, good morning. Thanks for holding on. Go ahead. Hey, um, well, see, I, I think there's just far too much uh, interest in Donald Trump. And, um, you know, there's just far too many candidates. I mean, if you look at the uh, number, there was this... Um, meme going around that the clown car is getting pretty full and i think that the clown car needs to go shove itself up its ass i mean it's it's jimmy it's, is next athens georgia and they've called president bush lots and lots worse and what is c-span's uh uh i guess attitude for people that call in like that, that uh, the name the word bigot and racist is not as bad as i've heard murderer noxy and other words, and son of a bitch, to somebody. All right, we'll just let that caller go. Call is Lexington, Kentucky. Good morning. Good morning. Am I on? You are on. Okay, cool. Fuck you. Our last caller is Matthew from Tacoma, Washington. Democrats line. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Um, I'm just going to say I, as a 17-year-old um, white boy, stole a case of beer. And upon spilling that case of beer, it was treated as if it was a joke and let to go without any charge by the white cop. I don't really see that happening to an African American, and I think the caller before me is full of shit. Okay, we're going to stop him on that point. Uh... Well, you know, let me just make a general comment. I, I don't think we have to curse people or curse each other. I, I really don't. I, I, I get a lot of that in responses to things. Fine for Republicans. Jed, good morning. Hello. Um, I feel as though if you uh, limit the use of electronic cigarettes, all you're doing is allowing people to uh, smoke tobacco more often, which is really, really not what they're trying to do. And um, I uh, also believe that Electronic cigarettes are excellent for smoking weed, heroin, meth, all kinds. All right, we'll uh, move on. Here's a piece. I'd like to make a comment without being cut off, okay? Well, go ahead. Okay, you know, we hear all these distractions in the news, and I don't know what, what, uh, what planet some of these people live on, but if you come to Michigan, you're going to see that people are in poverty here. Okay, I haven't worked in three years. My unemployment will be cut off soon. And my basic concern is how I'm going to eat, how I'm going to avoid being evicted, 
okay? And what I'm going to do to make a fucking living. That's Gwinnett County, Georgia. Good morning on this alternative minimum tax. Hi, am I on the air? You sure are. Fuck. Okay. Speaking about uh, inappropriate language. On behalf of the rest of the Christians, and I know that I'm the last call for this session, mm -hmm. but uh, I do. I am against uh, the the word um, "goddamn" uh, being used on uh, on the airways. And you just I used find it. it extremely offensive. Um, we are, we have stopped certain language being used on TVs, and I don't see any reason why the FCC cannot stop this word from being used. Thank you for the call. Next up is Warren, Michigan. Good morning on the Republican line. Yes, uh, I say vote for none of the above. Is why is that? All American has is with these candidates, they fucking cut me off. Okay. Listen, we appreciate you getting through. We don't appreciate uh, when there is any profanity. And if you do get through with your calls, uh, just turn the volume down on your set so we can hear you. But uh, please avoid the profanity. Keep it shit together. Please avoid the profanity. We got to kick ass, okay? Okay, thank you. Just avoid the profanity. That's all we ask. Warren, Michigan is our first caller. Good morning to you on the Republican line. Warren, Michigan? Yes, good morning, caller. Yeah, I'm a simple man. I'm a Republican. <laughs> And all I can say is, I scratch my ass and say, is this the best that America... Okay, we're going to go on to Scottsdale, Arizona. Good morning to you. Please, no profanity on this network. It is a shame that a president that's supposed to be working for the people, the Democrats and the Republicans, and they don't give a shit about nothing... We'll stop you there. Obviously very passionate about the issues. We do ask that you refrain from any profanity. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having Come me. Come back again. No profanity from the callers. It's a good day. It's a good we start. appreciate that. Fort Myers, Florida, supporter of President Bush. Uh, yes, I would just like to address uh, really something none of your callers have. The fact that uh, Colin Powell's son is a nigger cunt, nigger cunt, nigger cunt, nigger cunt, nigger cunt, nigger cunt. The C-SPAN school bus uh, has been traveling. Mr. Romney and... Mr. Obama could strip naked and walk out in, in the public, and there would still be people wanting to know what they've got to hide. He claims to be exempt from that, and he doesn't file that. Uh, do you think that the reason that this keeps going on with this administration is because the American people are taking stupid pills or because Congress treats their constituency like a pimp treats a whore? Robert Scheer. Well, vivid language, but I would, I, first of all, we'll be reading more as we go out to the morning, but let's hear from you. Jed from Pennsylvania, Republican line. Jed, good morning. Go ahead. Good morning. Um, I, uh, first of all, I'd like to um, say that I am actually a uh, devout Satanist. I worship the devil, and um, I think that if uh, they're allowed to have uh, Christian prayers, that they should allow us to uh, praise the dark word Satan. And do you think that will happen? Uh, I hope so. They, uh, they're building a um, memorial for uh, Baphomet in Oklahoma because uh, they allowed the uh, Moses Commandments, whatever the hell they're called, to uh, be on the... Uh, Ten Commandments. Yeah. They allowed them to um, be uh, displayed in a public building of, uh, I'm not sure what the building was called, but it was a government building. And, uh, yeah. Like a bunch of lily livers. So that being, that being said, you would agree with Paul Krugman's advice then? Oh, absolutely. And I'll tell you what they need to do. The very first day they need to take off, they take office, they need to open up a big old can of whoop ass and put it all over the, the Republicans. All right, let's hear from a Republican now. Jacobtown, Pennsylvania, thanks for waiting. Go right ahead. Thank you. Sir, how do you feel about Baba Booey? I'm sorry? About Baba Booey? Yes, sir. Are you familiar with Baba Booey? Mm. Uh, well, we haven't met until... Mm -hmm. Uh, now and uh, I am completely at my loss. Uh, perhaps you can help me. <laughs> help me. 